Hi everyone, it's Carrie. I'm back with you with another uh, Silences stamp haul. Um, I just received this haul today in the mail. Um, I ordered it um, right before Christmas. Yeah, I think a couple days right before Christmas. And it got here today, so I wanted to share with you what I got. Um, first, I'll show you, um, I got the other uh, new stamp set that um, came out with Lawn Fine. This is um, Love You Tons and super super cute and let's love these little elephants and of course you can't have the stamp set without the dies so I got the dies too so that's super cute can't wait to use it um, I picked up some of this um, Judikins embossing powder it's actually sticky stuff and um, I really didn't have anything like this I wanted to use this like with um, I recently got a whole bunch of um, glitter um, with us, uh, one of my secret uh, Santa gifts, um, with a good, from a good friend of mine, and you know who you are, and, um, and so I've got all the glitter in the world now, so I thought this stuff would really, really come in handy with, to use with the glitter, so, um, I picked some of this stuff up, and, uh, so I'm anxious to try this stuff out, and, uh, and see how it goes, and that's, it's a pretty big bottle, so I'll, I'll probably never, ever, use all of this but um i figure you know i'll get a lot of use out of it and stuff so i'm excited to have this um i picked up one of the new hero arts colors this is um dark quartz um i haven't even opened it yet like i said i got this haul today so um but it's like a dark peachy color um let me grab let's see Um, I don't know if the camera is going to pick this up, but this one is a little bit deeper of an orange. This is fresh peach, and this is, um, so it's a little bit more orangey, I guess, this color is. Um, I should do like an ink comparison, but I was going to get the other two colors that I had just to kind of show you. Compare. Okay, here's um, orange soda. And then here's um, soft cantaloupe. Let me kind of move this over. This um, orange soda, and then soft cantaloupe, and then here is dark quartz. Um, just a little bit of variance. Kind of hard to tell, I guess, on camera. But I wanted to try to give y'all some of, some idea. But there you go. See, kind of see some of the similar or in the differences a little bit. So um, it kind of rounds it out, rounds out the the color um, the color palette there. So so anyway, um, so I got the dark quartz, like I said, and then I wanted to try, um, like I said, mentioned in my last haul video that I did, um, I mentioned about the Simon's stamp um, inks and stuff. So and I said that how I didn't really need to invest. And more inks but I wanted to try a different color you know I wanted to try a few of those colors you know especially ones that you know I didn't have in my color repertoire if you will so um, I picked up the island blue and because I really really like this color I do have a color like this similar um, in memento um, in my memento dye inks but um, I thought I would give um, the Simon Says Stamp ink a try, especially since they have properties um, like the Hero Art inks. So I thought I would give this a try, and that's a really, really pretty blue. So if I like it, then I want to get the, um, I got some cardstock here, and I'll show you the colors, and I like to coordinate with the cardstock that I got. But this is Island Blue, and then I picked up, um, this is the new line by Crate Paper called um, Love Notes, and I thought these little um, paper clips were super, super paper clips, no, clothes pins. <laughs> I thought they were really super cute, and um, this would be really cute for, um, like, putting the goodie bags together and just clipping them, you know, on the ends or something, just to kind of dress them up for Valentine. It doesn't necessarily have to be for Valentine's Day, but, um, so I thought they were really cute, so I, I picked those up. And then I picked up, move this over here. Uh, I picked up the six by six, um, super cute 
papers. I love crepe papers paper. It, it's just so adorable. And um, so if you haven't seen it, I'll kind of flip through. Got some really cute colors and patterns in it. <clears throat> I like that. Uh, kind of like a collage of notebook papers, it looks like. Arrows, hearts. A chevroni pattern. Love that one. More hearts. That's like a small chevron. You probably can't tell. And of course, the tape, the cassette tapes. And then this, this is, it just says, um, stamped I Love You February 14th. Um, over and over and over and over. So, really cute. Like a floral pattern. Like a teal color. The chevron with music notes in it. Um, love that heart. It's hearts. More hearts. Um, a blue, like a ombreish pattern. Really cute polka dots. Then you could cut those up and use them, you know, as tags or whatever. And that's it. So really cute patterns in here. I like this one. And then um, I finally, oh Lord, I finally, finally, finally picked up, was able to pick up um, the snowflake dies from Someone Says Stamp. I have debated, um, there was two different snowflake sets that I wanted. Either this set or there was a set that had um, coordinating uh, dies or framelits. It was with, um, that Stampin' Up! had. And I went back and forth, back and forth, I mean, m for months. And when I finally decided to go ahead and get the Summon Says Stamp, um, I wanted to get the, the big bundle. Um, they call it the big bundle uh, Fun Flakes, I believe. Yeah, Fun Flakes. And um, so I finally decided on it. And it's actually cheaper to go ahead and buy the actual bundle together instead of them individually. That's why I wanted to get the bundle. So... Um, and they have been sold out of this for a long, long time. And they finally, finally, finally got this in um, the bundle. So um, that's why I just, I jumped on it as soon as I could because um, I knew that it probably wouldn't be long where they were going to be um, sold out again. So I got all four of the Snowflake dies. This is the Kate Snowflake. And that towel. Really, really pretty. Kate Snowflake. And then the Mary Ann Snowflake. Mm. Like that one. The Funky Snowflake. This one's the biggest one all, out of all of them. Pretty good size. Uh, funky Snowflake. And then... The, probably the most popular out of all of them, the Eliza Snowflake. And Christina Werner used this one a lot in her in her card um, holiday card series, and I absolutely love this. It's so intricate, it's so pretty, and so detailed. And um, I actually wanted to use this with <coughs> excuse me with my um, Christmas cards this year, but I didn't get to as um, as I stated you know as to why because of course they were sold out so but um i will have it for next year and i can still make winter cards obviously but um so i'm so excited to finally have my hands on these dies because they're i thought they were just um i thought i would get the more use out of these than than the stampin up set so pick that up and then i picked up also the um hugs die and this is this is a little bit bigger than I thought which is a pretty good size uh, really great for cards um, but it's a really good size you see that in my hand there so um, and and Sh um, Sherry Carroll recently did a really cute card and video um, using this die so with washi tape so I liked it so I picked it up and then, um, I'm, like I said, I picked some up some of the cardstock, so I'm going to sample it. And this is um, sea glass, really teal, um, pretty teal color, soft, soft blue teal color. 
I'm obsessed with this color, but so and I think I want to get the probably the ink to coordinate with it. But um, so I picked up the sea glass. I also picked up the blue violet. Pretty color. So I'll probably get the ink on this one too because I don't really have an ink like this color. And then here is the island blue to coordinate with the ink. So um, really excited. So um, I, it's supposed to be 100 pound cardstock, and I have opened up the khaki that I bought, and it's really good, thick quality, good quality cardstock. So if you know anyone out there is kind of still debating on whether or not to try their cardstock, it's really good cardstock and good and thick, and I'm um, great for card makers. So. Um, so anyway, so that is my haul, guys. Um, kind of put everything in here. If there's any questions about anything that I um, that I got, or if you want to see like the ink, these inks stamped out, or something like that, I'll be happy to do that. Um, so if you have any questions or anything like that, just let me know. Um, I welcome all. I welcome comments, of course. So. Um, and I appreciate you guys. Um, since this is December 30th, so um, I'll you know I'll take this opportunity to say thank you for all of my um, followers and subscribers and my new subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. It means the world to me. And um, uh, I hope that y'all had a great Christmas. And I hope it's a wonderful 2014. And I look forward to making more videos for you without, within the year of 2014. So um, I appreciate every one of you. So I appreciate it. And um, I guess I will talk to y'all later. I'll stop rambling. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. See y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.